had a good week. This will be a short lesson, but it's a powerful lesson. We're going to go over memory verses about the second coming of Christ. I know we've done a lot of this, but to me it is so important to know what we have coming in our future. And, and it's really our whole goal to base our life on this hope of the return of Christ and the coming kingdom of God. In this verse, it says, uh, here if you could zoom in and look at the picture of Jesus coming, he'll be coming with a whole host of angels. The whole world will see him coming. And he will come with so many angels and the sky will, bright, it will be so bright it will light up his coming. And Jesus describes it this way, for as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Lightning can light up the whole sky for miles and miles. Jesus is going to light up the whole sky so the whole entire world will see him coming. It will be an absolute grand entrance into, into our lives when we see the Lord Jesus coming back. So there will be no mistake in when Jesus comes back. He and everybody, or we, along with everybody else, will see him coming. Here is another picture of angels blowing their trumpets and the brightness of Jesus coming, lighting up the whole sky. But as you can see the pictures down here, there will be people from ever since the time of Adam and Eve till the time when Jesus comes back have been sleeping in their graves, waiting for Jesus to come back. And so it's going to be a grand event. It says, for the Lord himself, our Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout. An archangel will shout really, really loud. And with the voice of the archangel, or I'm sorry, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. An archangel will, the whole world will hear this archangel shout, and it will wake the dead. And with the trump of God, there will be trumpets, but there'll be one last trumpet that will blast so loud. And with the yelling of the archangel, and with that loud trumpet blast, it will wake the dead. And the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. So try to imagine yourself being asleep. And if you were to hear suddenly a loud trumpet sound and a very loud shout, and it wakes you up, that's exactly what it will be at the resurrection day. You will be asleep in your graves. All of us will be who are Christians. And only the Christians that have been asleep in their graves waiting on Jesus will hear this and will wake up. And Jesus will open their graves and they will come up out of their graves as you see in this picture here. And you see in these other pictures, there will be many people waking up from their graves to see the Lord in the air, putting their hands in the air for their Lord and Savior has come. We want to be in this first resurrection. Now those people who have died and who are not Christians will not get to raise in this resurrection. Not yet. We will be so proud and happy to be in that first resurrection. Then the Bible says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So the dead in Christ are going to rise up first to meet the Lord in the air. But those of us who are still alive when Jesus comes back, we were going to get to see them go up. We'll see them rise first. Those who are dead will rise first. Then there's a special verse that Paul wrote to make it clear for those of us who might still be here when Jesus comes back and who have not died yet. He says, listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, meaning that not all of us will be dead in our graves when Jesus returns, but there will be some Christians still alive but we will all be changed. As soon as we see the 
Christians that are raised out of their graves go to meet the Lord in the air, suddenly we will be changed. The Bible says that we will be made brand new. We will be made instantly young and beautiful, never to die, hurt, or have pain again. It says it will happen so fast, it will be like the twinkling of an eye. A twinkling of an eye is so quick, it happens instantaneously. That's how fast we will be changed from a, a body that decays and dies and ages to a body that will be made brand new and beautiful to last forever. And it says that we will be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, which means when those dead Christian friends, relatives of ours are raised from their graves, they will be changed instantly. And they'll go to meet the Lord in the air first. Then we who are Christians that are still alive, who have not died yet, we will be changed instantly. And then we will go to meet them in the air. And there will be this big reunion in the air with the Lord Jesus. But we won't be just staying in the air. Jesus will bring us right back down onto this earth. The Bible says that many things will happen after that. But what I'm going to uh, talk to you about today is that resurrection day and how we need to be ready. Um, we do know that Jesus will come back down and he there's a uh, a belief that there will be a thousand year reign here on the earth. There is a belief that there will be definitely a great white throne judgment where we will go before the Lord and be judged. And this is where this verse comes in. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father. He will be bright, powerful, and beautiful. And will it be with his angels, with his angels. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Whatever you have done for Jesus, whatever you've done for God in this life, it is not forgotten. They remember everything. And for everything that you do, you will be rewarded according to what you have done. If you have done much for the Lord, if you have done all the wonderful things that God and Jesus wants you to do, you will be rewarded great. If you've done really little, you'll be rewarded very little. It is all going to be based on your works of how you have done for Jesus and God in this life. So remember that. Even the smallest of things are important. We will be rewarded for what we do. Jesus promises this promise. It's one of the last verses in our Bible. Behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. Everything that we have ever done in this life will be taken into account come judgment day. And when we stand before the Lord, I hope and pray that we all are found faithful and doing much for him. So remember each and every day to think about what can I do for God today? What can I do for Jesus? What can I do that would make a difference for them and for others? That someday, someday, even the smallest things you do will be rewarded. Hope you have a wonderful week and remember that our future is, is a bright future and remember about the resurrection day, how we want to be in that first resurrection, how we want to be found faithful so that we can be with our Lord Jesus. And ultimately, when Jesus has us back down, uh, brings us right back down from that reunion in the sky and brings us right back down, we, he is going to burn the earth with fire and make it brand new. And this will be our home forever. And we will be rewarded according to what we have done. So many things in store. My favorite verse um, that I always end up with because I think it's something to always, always remember what God has promised us. For no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2.9 Let us all be planning and 
aiming our lives toward that big goal of living with God and Jesus forever here on this earth in the future kingdom of God. Have a good week, everyone.